Time now for Kara's Cure. So what constitutes a great marriage? Yep, everybody wants to know. Well, joining us now to talk about it are the authors of the book, The Go-Giver Marriage, a little story about the five secrets to lasting love and a couple for 24 years. John David and Anna Gabriel Mann, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so you guys are talking about some simple things that can kind of shift the trajectory of a relationship. I guess if, if you could go through a couple of those for us. And by the way, you've been a couple for 24 years yeah. and authors, <laughs> best-selling authors of uh, uh, nine New York Times bestsellers on marriage and coaching. So I want to hear what you have to say because there are simple five things we can yeah. do. All right, let's start. John, why don't we start with you? Sure. You know, there, a lot of them are things that we knew how to do and we did when we were first in love. You know, when you're first in that blush of romance, you, you can't say enough nice things about this other person because everything about them is amazing. Everything about them is fantastic. But then life happens as you spend time together. You have bills, you have kids, you have a house, you have illnesses, you have issues that, that demand your attention. And we start to let those things slide. So what we like to tell people is go back to the things that worked because they'll keep working. For example, Three times a day, we tell people, just find something you love about your partner and take a moment to tell them. It's so easy to let it slide. We just forget. We assume that they know that, that we love them because we already told them, right? But you have to say it again and then again and then again. Every day, find three things that you love about your partner and take a moment to tell them about it. Okay. I love that. Yeah. And, and that's something that I guess uh, you can do and it would maybe shift even if your partner doesn't even know you're doing or they're not doing it yet. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. In fact, the book was written so that one person could practice and we coach one person at a time. This is not couples therapy. It's actually coaching directly to improve your marriage. Um, there's certain things that you talk about and you're talking about a spirit of generosity between partners. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. A spirit of generosity is, is making the time every day to add value to your partner's life, to really be in that position where you are constantly bringing something, whether you're attending to them or appreciating them or giving them something that improves their day, that improves their mood, that stabilizes them in some way emotionally and personally. And so we, we often refer to love as a practice, that what people experience when they fall in love is that static experience of, wow, I'm sailing on a sea of love, and this is how I want to feel for the rest of my life. But then, as John said, life happens, and the emotional baggage of your childhood starts to unpack after the honeymoon's over. And that's when the reality hits. That's when people start to see you know, criticism and issues of control um, and things of that sort start to creep into a relationship and it really is destructive. And all of us, I think, if we're married, we want a good marriage. But what do you do when, of course, you should be doing these things, but let's say you're mad at your partner or you're in a bad mood and, and you just feel like criticizing. <laughs> you know, what do you do then? <laughs> yeah, the the first thing I'd say is take a breath. You know, one of, one of the things, you know, you ask, how can you experience the spirit of generosity? And another way of doing that is, <clears throat> is give your partner the benefit of the doubt. When you start to feel stressed, when you start to feel angry, take a breath. And rather than jumping on what they did wrong, starting to get that back and forth thing, give them the benefit of the doubt. Assume they didn't mean harm. Assume they, didn't, they mean well. Assume if they're having a bad day, it's not about you. And be on their corner. Be on their team. It's okay to have stress. It's okay to have fights. It's okay to argue. But you always want to have that sense that we're on the same team. We're not in opposite corners of a boxing ring. Oh, that's great. And as well, and as well get your scorekeeper under control. Most of us, you know, really unconsciously are constantly scoring in our own favor. You know, we're constantly looking at the relationship and saying things like, wow, I did the dishes three times this week. When are you going to do them? <laughs> <laughs> and those kinds of behaviors really don't serve the marriage long term, and they don't serve it in the short term either. They simply make everyone feel bad. 
And so it, it's really get in charge of your scorekeeper. Keep an eye on it. Re recognize and remember that you're on the same team. This is not you versus me. It's us. Yeah, that, that's some great advice. Don't keep score. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we only have 30 seconds left, but and I know people can go read the Go-Giver Marriage, a little mm -hmm. story about it, and the five secrets. I'm going to have an expanded conversation with you on our streaming app, Kara's Cures. Uh, but bottom line is, I guess we have a lot more control. We always think it's up to the other person, right. but just us making some changes. You say you can make a change in your relationship in just days. Absolutely. Perfect. We're going to learn more about what we can do to transform in just days. Yeah. So thank you for your advice, and we'll yeah. be talking to you a little bit more on the WFSB Streaming News app. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Still ahead. I'm excited for that conversation. We'll come with more yeah, questions. it's going to be great. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Yes, we're bringing the Irish step dancing to you, telling you where you can learn. It's great. Looks like the Griffith Academy to me. And we're talking food. Jeff Blum is joining us with a great recipe. Great day. We'll be right back.